Welcome back. If you've watched my previous video about Google AdWords conversion, then you've come to the right video because this is the more advanced and best practices when it comes to Google conversion goals. So if you've watched the first video, that's great. I wanted to make it in one video, but it was kind of difficult. So where are we at? Here we go. So what we've done earlier is we've created the goal and uh, we created it in Google AdWords and then we fired the tag respectively in Google Tag Manager and I taught you how to do this. Pretty simple. Now there is a better way of doing it also through Google Analytics. But here's the thing. If you do your goal through Google Analytics and then you link it to your AdWords account, you're doing yourself the worst mistake of your life. You know why? Because you are going to be firing that goal twice and you're basically going to duplicate your conversion numbers when it comes to Google AdWords. Believe it or not, many people don't know this because it takes practice and it takes a lot of experience to reach to such conclusions and unfortunately such small details are in the fine print and you wouldn't even know unless you chat to people in Google over uh, Google AdWords, talk to the support and you get to a lot of frustration but I'm making it simple for you. Lesson learned. If you create your conversion goal and fire it using Google Tag Manager the way we did in my previous video and then you create the goal again using Google Analytics and you have your Google Analytics and Google uh, AdWords connected together in the conversion part, then that's something that you should avoid at all cost. So assuming that you're not going to fire it, you're not going to do whatever we did in uh, creating the conversion in Google AdWords and also in firing the tag, forget about this, we're going to do it only inside of Google Analytics. So let's, this is really a Google Analytics uh, uh, tutorial if you want to think about it, but because they are interconnected, I wanted to make sure that it's also categorized under GTM. So here I am inside of my Google Analytics and I'm going to create a goal by going to the admin and clicking on goal. And there you go, new goal. And what I want to do really is to create it from a template if I want. I know that this is going to be more of a lead or a successful signup account. So I'm going to select this just because it makes it easier. I could have also clicked on custom. We do the same thing. Click on continue. Create an account. So what is... Uh, the, the goal description for here in my account, I would call it a uh, successful lead, successful lead creation. All right. And the type is of destination because it's really going to a page. So I'm going to click on next and it's asking me what is the name of my destination? For example, the screen name or the page URL. And I know from previous that my page ends with sign up success. So I'm going to copy this, go back here and paste it. Perfect. Do I want to assign, do I want to assign a monetary uh, value to this conversion? Not at the moment. Is there a funnel? A funnel is important because what it tells me is that is there a previous page that you want the user to go through before you actually go to this uh, sign up success? And the answer is yes. It's the actual lead form. So I'm calling it lead form and, and it really is similar, but it just is slash sign up. Is it required in the flow? And I'm going to say yes, because I don't want people to just go into the uh, success page directly. And 
I could, I'm asked to verify this goal. Most of the time that doesn't really work and it tells me this goal uh, would have a zero conversion rate based on your data for the last seven days. So I'm going to just save it for now. And there you go. My goal has been created as a successful read creation. Perfect. Now, how do these interact with uh, Google AdWords? So if we go here, you see that this, I'm now in Google AdWords, just so that you don't get confused. And this is the previous goal that was created through Google AdWords itself. I could go and add another conversion right here. Hmm. Interesting, that's not the way we do it. Actually, it should be done through Google Analytics. There is no Google Analytics goal to import. This could be because you need to link Google Analytics and AdWords. So here's the thing, we need to link them together. How do we do that? Basically, it's telling me for Google Analytics, you'll need edit permissions. For AdWords, you'll need administ administrative access. So I need to go to the gear and select account type and let's see if I can get it without really learning it. Linked accounts. Perfect. Gain greater visibility. Here, I need to click on Google Analytics. And it says it, it, it recognizes it, but it doesn't uh, see that it has enabled it. So I'm going to set it up. Import site metrics. Yes. Perfect. We're getting the two accounts linked together. And now the accounts has been linked and it says one linked view, zero goals imported, zero goals ready to import. Why is that? Let's see. Let's go back to my Google Analytics and see if I can... It is, okay, here's the thing. Because we've created the account just now, it takes few hours for that goal to get imported. So once it gets imported, it will get populated into my conversion uh, area into Google AdWords. So you would see it here as an additional, uh, additional goal. And that is the mistake. When you see that your goal has been transferred here from Google Analytics, you need to immediately disable the one that was created from Google AdWords directly. I hope you understand what we are talking about. If you don't, then you can always uh, comment on this video and let me know and I will surely help you. You can also uh, watch more in-depth videos by going on and signing up for a new account, a free account with webawk.com and watching more videos which will be available only for free members. Until a new video, I hope you're enjoying our Google Tag Manager videos and much more related to the web. Have a great day and bye-bye.